Welcome back for our discussion in Mathematics in the Modern World and today we will have Module 9. It is about simple linear regression and correlation. But this will be part 1. So for this one, we will just talk about simple linear regression. So when we say linear regression, it is a linear approach to modeling the relationship between a dependent or criterion variable and one or more explanatory or predictor variables. Okay, so when we say linear regression, <coughs> we talk about dependent and independent variables. Okay, so in a simple linear regression, we have one independent and one dependent variable. But there are cases na madami yung nagiging independent variable natin or yung predictor variables natin. So, in that case, magkakaroon tayo ng multiple linear regression. Okay? So, one example ng multiple linear regression is your grade. Okay? So, your grade has multiple predictors. Example nun ay quiz, uh, exams, participation, performance, yung mga activities nyo. So, those are the predictors. So, madami siyang predictors. So, we can apply multiple linear regression for that. Okay? Example naman ng simple linear regression is <coughs> uh, yung presyo ng gasolina at yung pagtaas ng presyo ng pamasahe. Okay? So, habang tumataas yung presyo ng gasolina, tumataas din yung presyo ng uh, pamasahe. Okay? Then, let's focus with simple linear regression. <clears throat> so, simple linear regression applies the concept of linear equation. Okay? So, since it is simple linear regression only, we just have one predictor and one criterion. And the main formula or the equation for the linear regression, we have y equals to mx plus a. Okay, so katulad siya nung y equals to mx plus b ng linear equation. Okay, kung saan yung y, <coughs> that is the value of the predictor. Then, yung m natin, that is the slope. Okay, so since line yan, it will be graphed and the graph will show a slope or a stiffness. Okay, makikita kung gaano ka kiling yung linya natin. Gaano ka diagonal. Okay. So, that is determined by the slope. Okay, then our A, that is the value of Y or the Y-intercept if X is 0. Okay? <coughs> then, there are multiple uh, <coughs> cases wherein we can apply simple linear regression. Okay, however, to specifically determine if variables are applicable to use as... Uh, factors for the analysis under linear regression, kailangan those variables are related to each other. Okay, meaning uh, they have strong relationship and if one increases, the other one will increase or vice versa. Okay? Okay, so let's have this example. In this case, we have seven business stores here. And then, meron silang dalawang variable. Isa is yung sales o yung kita. Then, the other one is the advertising cost. O yung ginastos nila for advertisement. So, ang magiging X natin dito, o yung independent natin, ay yung cost for advertisement. And then, ang Y natin ay yung sales o yung kita. Okay, nakabase yung kita dun sa ginastos nila sa <coughs> advertising. Okay, so you can compute that manually to determine the equation of the regression line. Pero I suggest you can also download this app and use it for the computation. So I'll show you a video to use the app. <coughs> so here's our video. Pag ginamit nyo yung math app, so ito yung makikita nyo pagka-open. Then... Punta ka lang sa statistics. Tapos punta ka dito sa contingency tables. Click mo yun. Okay, then, meron ditong plus, yung plus na sa baba. Pag clinic mo yun, maglalagay ka ng table, gagawa ka ng table dyan. So, pwede kang mag-add ng x, tsaka ng y. Okay. 
wag mo wag tayo magdawa muna kasi meron na akong nagawa na yun nga yung example natin okay so ito yung value ng x natin tapos ito yung value ng y natin so na input ko na siya then after mo ma input okay mo lang i-check i click mo lang yung confirm yung check tapos back ka then kapag ka may gawa ka ng table punta ka dun sa linear regression click mo yung linear regression tapos itong contingency table yung choose okay hanapin mo nasan dun yung table na ginawa mo so i-click mo lang dun tapos yan na automatic yan na yung value ng m natin tsaka yung a so ang equation ng linear regression natin ay y equals to 171.5x plus 125.8 okay so yun yung linear regression equation okay okay so ganun lang gamitin yung app natin so automatic lilitaw na yung value ng m tsaka yung value ng a and you can simply substitute that for you to the to have the equation of the linear regression <coughs> So, the positive correlation means that the values of the dependent variable y increases when the values of the independent variable x rise. So, in this case, parehong positive kasi. So, yung m natin positive, yung a natin positive. So, as x increases, y also increases. Okay, pero pagka naging negative tong slope natin, tong 171.5, so, marireverse yung relationship. As x increases, y decreases. Okay. So, this is our equation for the regression. We have y equals to 125.8 plus 171.5x. So, yung 125.8 at 171.5, nakuha natin yan because we compute the data using the application. Okay? You can do that manually as well. Pero, to avoid errors, <coughs> I suggest you can simply use the application that I gave you. Okay, then to further analyze, pwede nating i-plot. Gawa tayo ng scatter plot para mas ma-analyze natin yung data. So, yung raw data natin, gawan mo lang ng scatter plot. So, yung variable x natin nasa horizontal, then variable y natin nasa vertical. Then, plot them. Okay, so these are the points. Yan yung lumitaw na points natin. And then, after that, draw the graph of the equation line. So, i-graph mo yung equation line natin. Okay, so may straight line na tayo, then meron tayong mga scatter plot dito. Okay, so as you can see, yung points natin ay malapit dun sa sa regression line natin. Okay, so kapag ka malapit yung mga points sa regression line, halos kadikit na nga yung iba. So pagka ganun, malapit sila, it suggests that the correlation between the two variables are strong. So meron siyang strong relationship. Okay? Then, to further interpret the results, the slope of 171.5 shows that each increase of one unit in x, we predict the variable y 
to increase by an estimated 171.5 units. Okay, so in monetary term, kung gagawin nating pera yung usapan, kapag naglabas daw or nagdagdag ng 1 dollar, okay, sa bawat 1 dollar na idadagdag na gastos para sa advertisement, kikita naman yung business ng 171.5 dollars. So, hindi na lugi eh. So, talagang sobrang laki ng kikitaan nila. Diba? So, however, this is just a prediction. So, hindi accurate na 171.5. That is just a suggestion. Okay? So, this was a simple linear regression example for a positive relationship in business. Okay? So, that is a positive relationship since we have the slope that is positive. Pero, pwede ding maging negative yan. Okay? So, pagka ganun, pababa, pabagsak. Okay? Then, for further linear regression analysis, so, when you are re conducting a regression analysis with one independent variable, the regression equation is y equals to a plus m times x. But, if there will have multiple independent variables, we have y equals to a plus m sub 1 times x sub 1 plus m sub 2 times x sub 2 and so on. So, ang nadadagdagan lang doon ay yung slope tsaka yung variable x. Pero, yung y tsaka yung mga compute mong a, so, that is still the same. <clears throat> okay? And sa multiple linear regression, ang ginagawa doon, inaalam kung anong variable x ang pinakang maganda gamitin para ma-predict yung variable y. Okay, and in interpreting the slope of a linear regression, so, we use that to predict or to determine the strengths and the direction of the relationship. So, yung slope kasi, ay yung magsasabi kung the data will go up or if the data will go down. Okay? And it also determines the strength because with the aid of the regression line, makikita natin kung strong ba yung relationship niya as based on the scatter plot. Okay? Then, for linearity, it is assumed that the relationship between the independent and dependent variables is linear. So, it is just an assumption. We cannot totally confirm that two characteristics are linear or directly related to each other. Okay, but we can simply test that using scatter plot. Okay, then under normality, so since this is just a prediction, so that is not accurate, so, the actual result, as compared to the predicted result, will result into a residual value. Okay, so there may be a residual value, pwede magkaroon ng residual value. So, pagka nagkaroon nun, so, hindi naman problema because that residual value is independent to each other. Okay, and still, uh, our data is under normal curve or the normal distribution. Okay? Then, it is assumed that the errors in the prediction of the value of y are all independent of one another. Okay? So, there are margin of errors that we use or meron din naman tayong level of significance na ginagamit. So, those standard errors that we have, those are not uh, factors that may hinder the result or the analysis. Okay? They are the independent of one another. And for homocedasticity, okay, so we can use the variance here. Yung variance naman makikita nyo din dun sa table, dun sa app na ginawa natin, na ginamit natin. So, as long as our data will have definite variance or they will have the same variance with each other or among each other. So, uh, that suggests that we have homogeneity of variance or the data is under normal distribution and they are uh, proportionally distributed among each other. Okay? And that's all for now for our discussion about simple linear regression. If you have questions, you can write down your comments below or you can uh, directly message me to ask your questions, okay? Para mas maging malinaw pa yung discussion natin sa mga susunod. That's all for now. Thank you for uh, watching our lesson and always keep safe.